In this video, I'm going to show you when to use the White Vincent method and how to solve three isotonicity calculations using the White Vincent method, and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa, and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, the White Vincent method is one of the methods of adjusting the tonicity of a solution. If you'd like to learn more about the other methods of adjusting the tonicity of a solution, such as the sodium chloride equivalent method and the freezing point depression method, then I'm going to link a playlist in the cards and I'm going to put links to several resources in the description as well. So before we get to solving the questions, let's proceed with a quick recall of some important points to consider when it comes to the White Vincent method. So the White Vincent method of adjusting tonicity of a solution involves two steps. Now the first step requires you to add a sufficient volume of distilled water to a given amount of drug to make an isotonic solution of the drug. Now once you've done that, you want to follow up by adding an isotonic vehicle to bring the solution to the final volume of your preparation. So there are two steps. You start off by determining the volume of distilled water that is needed. Then once you've determined that and end up with an isotonic solution, you more or less QS to the final volume using an isotonic vehicle. So the question arises as to how you determine the volume of the distilled water that you need to make a given amount of drug isotonic. And so the way you determine that volume is based on the fact that the volume of isotonic solution that can be prepared from any given drug is obtained by using a specified simple equation. Now that equation actually is given as V equals omega times E times 111.1. Where V is the volume of distilled water that you need to add to a given amount of drug to make an isotonic solution of the drug. Now, omega is the weight of drug in grams and E is the sodium chloride equivalent. Now, this equation is for scenarios where you only have one ingredient in your preparation. Now, when you have more than one ingredient in your preparation, the equation you'll be using will be some simplified version of this general equation where V is now equal to into parenthesis omega 1 times E1, where omega 1 is the weight in grams of the first ingredient times the E value of the first ingredient plus into parenthesis omega 2 times E2, where omega 2 is the weight in grams of the second ingredient multiplied by E2, which is the sodium chloride equivalent for the second ingredient plus into parenthesis omega n times e n. So the n is going to be the nth ingredient in your component. So if you only have three ingredients in your preparation, then you end up with omega 3 times E3 and omega 3 will be the weight in grams of the third ingredient times the sodium chloride equivalent of the third ingredient. And then you multiply everything by 111.1. So we will be taking a look at three questions and these questions are sequenced in order of increasing complexity. Now the first question says, you have oxy tetracycline hydrochloride with an E value of 0.12, you have 0.05 grams in your preparation and you're mixing and making an eye wash which is isotonic and has a volume of 30 milliliters. You have on hand isotonic boric acid vehicle how many milliliters of purified water and how many milliliters of isotonic boric acid vehicle should be used in compounding the prescription? So one of the questions that normally arises is when do you actually use the white vincent method? And from the question, there are a few key phrases that will point you in the right direction. Phrases like how many milliliters of purified water and how many milliliters of isotonic vehicle or buffer, those are key phrases that point you to using the white vincent method when it comes to isotonicity calculations. So in this question, you've been given the weight of oxytetracycline hydrochloride in grams, which is the 0.05. You have the E value at 0.12 and your total volume is 30 milliliters. So the way you want to proceed is to start off with the White Vincent method equation. And that implies that you have volume being equal to omega times E times 111.1. Now, omega is the weight of ingredient in grams. And in the question, because the weight has already been given in grams, you don't need to do any manipulation there. And then you also have your E value as 0.12. So we can simply proceed by substituting the values into the equation. So V is going to be equal to 0.05 times 0.12 times 111.1. 1. 
and that's going to be equal to 0 0.67 milliliters and this volume represents the volume of purified water and so the next step is to determine the volume of isotonic boric acid vehicle that is needed and the way you capture that is to take the volume of your preparation with this 30 ml so you have 30 milliliters and subtract from it the volume of purified water that was needed so minus 0 0.67 milliliters and that's going to be equal to 29.33 milliliters so this type of question is essentially the simplest kind you would come across where you have one ingredient and the weight is given in grams so you don't need to do multiple steps that's the simplest scenario you will likely encounter when it comes to isotonistic calculations using the white vsan method now let's take a look at another example so in this question you have ingredient z with an e value of 0 0.18 you have two percent concentration in the preparation and they have sterile preserved water you add enough of that to make 30 milliliters and then you're QRSN with an isotonic acetate buffer. So the stick stays for the nose as decongestant and you have on hand an isotonic acetate buffer solution. How many milliliters of purified water and how many milliliters of acetate buffer should be used in compounding the prescription? So in this question, the goal is to calculate the volume in milliliters of purified water and the volume in milliliters of acetate buffer that you need to compound this prescription. And so the way the question is framed, we know we are going to be using the white vsan method equation. And here we only have one ingredient. So the version of the equation we'll be using is volume of purified water is equal to omega times E times 111.1. So the omega is the weight of the ingredient in grams. But notice that in this question, your amount of ingredient Z is given on a concentration basis as a percentage trend. It says 2%. And so in order to use this question, we first need to determine the weight of ingredient Z in grams that is present in the 30 ml. So what that will look like then is omega is going to be equal to the concentration, which is 2%. Now 2% implies you have 2 grams of ingredient Z in 100 milliliters of preparation. And then you're going to go ahead and multiply this by 30 milliliters. So the milliliters will cancel out and that's going to be equal to 0 0.6 grams. So we can now go ahead and substitute the weight in grams into the original equation and that would imply that the volume of purified water is going to be equal to 0 0.6 times the E value of ingredient Z which is 0 0.18 times 111.1 and that's going to be equal to 12 milliliters. And so the next step is to determine the volume of acetate buffer and the way you capture that is to take the volume of the preparation which is 30 milliliters and subtract from it the volume of purified water that is needed which is 12 so you're going to have 30 milliliters minus 12 milliliters and that's going to be equal to 18 milliliters so this is an example of a question where you have the weight given as a concentration so it could either be percentage strength as indicated here or it could be a ratio strength and so the way this differs from the previous question is you first need to determine the weight in grams and then substitute that value into the equation. Now let's take a look at another question where you have more than one ingredient. So this question says you have pilocarpin nitrate with an E value of 0 0.23, it is 0.5% in the preparation. You have boric acid E equals 0 0.52 and has 155 milligrams in the preparation. And your total volume is 30 ml you're making an isotonic solution and the six says one drop in each eye now you have on hand an isotonic acetate buffer solution how many milliliters of purified water and how many milliliters of acetate buffer should be used in compounding the preparation so in this question it's important to know that you have two ingredients in there you have the pilocarpin and then you have the boric acid and so the version of the white vsan method equation that you're going to be using is V, which is volume of purified water, is equal to omega-1 times E1 plus omega-2 times E2 all into brackets times 111.1. So here we're going to designate the subscript 1 as the pilocarpin and subscript 2 is going to refer to the boric acid. It's also important to know that omega is the weight of ingredient in grams. And so we're going to first start off by determining the weight of pilocarpin nitrate in grams that you need for the 30 ml preparation and the weight of boric acid in grams that you need for the 30 ml preparation. And so omega-1, which is the weight in grams of pilocarpin nitrate, is going to be determined by using the concentration, which is 0.5%. So 0.5% implies you have 0.5 grams of pilocarpin nitrate in a 100 ml preparation. 
now since we're making 30 ml we need to multiply this by 30 milliliters and that will give us the amount of pyrocarbon nitrate in grams that is in the 30 ml so the milliliters will cancel out and this is going to be equal to 0 0.15 grams so the next step is to determine the omega-2 which is going to be the weight of boric acid in grams in the 30 ml preparation Notice here you have 155 milligrams. So we want to convert the milligrams to grams. And so 155 milligrams, we multiply this by the conversion factor, 1000 milligrams is equal to one gram. The milligrams cancel out. That's going to be equal to 0 0.155 grams. So we can now proceed by substituting all the values into the original equation and that would imply that the volume of purified water is going to be equal to 0 0.15 times the E value of pyrocarbon nitrate which is 0 0.23 plus into parenthesis 0 0.155 times the E value of boric acid which is 0 0.52. Now all of this multiplied by 111.1. So we can go ahead and simplify this some more and we're going to end up with 0 0.0345 plus 0 0.0806 times 111.1 and that's going to be equal to 12.79 milliliters. And so the next step is to determine the volume of acetate buffer that is needed. And the way you capture that is to take the volume of the preparation, which in this instance is 30 milliliters, and subtract from it the volume of purified water that is needed, which is 12.79 milliliters. So you're going to have 30 milliliters minus 12.79 milliliters, and that's going to be equal to 17.21 milliliters. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.